Uh, so Aaron and I have been good friends and collaborators for quite a while now in our main research areas in machine learning and related topics. Aaron's been working for a while in differential privacy, trying to make algorithms that are more private, and he kind of got me sucked into that a number of years back also. Um, but then about five or six years ago, along with other people in our community, we just started becoming interested in um, sort of scientific methodology for making machine learning algorithms that obey different types of fairness and thinking about the kind of right definitions for fairness and how to enforce them. And I think that's kind of was the genesis of the research that we did that then later inspired us to write a general audience book on the topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, and both of us have spent our careers doing mathematical research on these topics and related things, but at some point we realized that both that, that the things we were thinking about were important but also had compelling stories around them that uh, we liked, we, we wanted to try to explain. And it's very different writing for a general audience than it is writing for a mathematical audience. Uh, and we, we spent many iterations trying to remove all of the equations from the text, and we did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was rewarding. Yeah, I think the technical side, um, of course, is the easier side for people with our background. And so we were already quite familiar with the underlying math of machine learning, and in particular, the ways in which that math could be modified to kind of avoid things like violations of fairness and privacy and other social norms. I think the philosophical side of things, or the more cultural side of things, are, are things that we learned a lot about in the writing of the, of the book. Um, and, and so, I don't think we came with any predisposition about you know, our attitudes or approaches there. We kind of learned as we went. Yeah, and we tried to approach these big questions with humility, which we try to get across in the, in the first chapter of the book. Uh, yeah, we have certain expertise. You know, we're, we're mathematical computer scientists, but we're very aware that there's all sorts of important and relevant things that, that we're not experts on. And so we try to... Um, separate those two things and, and talk about what we know. Um, I think our, our background as, as mathematical computer scientists very much guides the way the book is written, which is trying to first figure out what we mean when we say something like privacy or fairness very precisely, and, and starting with those definitions, figuring out what the implications of them are. And I think just the iterative process of writing the book and you know, trying to relate to a very lay audience on things that we knew that they cared about, that we felt like we had something to say, but what we had to say isn't, you know, it's not kind of a one-liner. And so um, I think, you know, maybe surprising is not the right word, but I think we learned a lot about um, kind of how to explain ourselves in our worldview as we went through kind of iterative versions of and drafts of the book. Yeah, and research-wise, you know, there wasn't, I think, one big surprising thing, but, you know, over the course of, you know, I guess what's coming up on a decade and a half of my research career, what was surprising to me initially was that it was possible to think about big weighty issues like privacy and fairness, and even just learning using the tools of mathematics. You know, I, I started my undergraduate degree as a math major, and I always really liked math, and it was um, a thrill to figure out that you could use these tools to think about things that really mattered.